what I'm going to try to do here is install races in this hub. You know, my press isn't quite big enough. To get her in there, so I've got the races in the deep freeze. I opted out of the alcohol dry ice. I was afraid they'd be too cold and get brittle. I know that might be ridiculous, but whatever. So I'm going to preheat just a little ways. I'm going to preheat the hub, freeze the races in hopes that using a crappy little jack up against the bumper, I can make my own homemade press. I fully admit I have no idea how this is going to work. I just, I don't want to try to drive this. Oh, oh, oh wow. Never mind, man. Look at that. That worked so well. Oh, it just locked in solid. Amazing. There was no way I could lift that into my press by myself. My press is very, very marginal as to whether or not it was powerful enough to do it anyways. Did you see it drop in and spin? And then it was just spinning there for a second or two and dink. She warmed right up. That was pretty awesome. I didn't get the hub too very hot. About a minute, maybe 90 seconds after dropping the race in, the hub's temperature is 165. So that's all it took. I maybe brought the hub up maybe 200. And that race was just in my uh, chest freezer. It was in my chest freezer for, I don't know, two or three hours. And she just dropped right in. What a slick deal. I'm going to go around with a brass punch and just tap. I just want to make sure it's seated. Yep, I got rebound off of all four spots. So the race is down there seated. Awesome. Let's do the other side. See if it was a fluke or if it uh, works both ways. Dropping in a race, M923. First step. Heating. Race is already warm. What a neat display of the laws of physics. There you go. There's how to put bearings in the hubs of an M923 or really any big bearing without, uh, shall we say, the proper tools. The races I got from a, a very kind Steel Soldiers member <laughs> who uh, swooped in. Awesome. I, I owe you a beer if we ever meet. Uh, they are Hyatt's and the bearings are SKS. I'm not, I'm not really used to bearings and races that aren't matched, but it does seem to be the norm past a certain size.